Okay guys, welcome to the welcome to part three, the final part of my Warner Brothers VHS collection 2019 edition. In this part we're gonna show you my boring show of Warner Home video tapes, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Twenty one tapes. And before I will show you, there's a tape that I forgot to show in part one. So here it is. I totally forgot about this tape. October 15th, 1999. And someone named Alex Sorty used to own this tape, but it was mine now. Now let's get all the boring shield tape. Wait a second. I already showed the cheesy shield tape for part two, so sorry about that. I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about that. Put up the wrong tape in here. Now let's get started. Full more from Blockbuster, June 21st, 1997. This one's brand new seal and I got it. January 6th, 2001, even though this is a 2000 VHS. This was another form from from Blockbuster. Blobs date this time is July 30th, 2001. Print date is going to get ruined, so I'm not going to peel off the Blockbuster end label. Co-producer Morgan, Morgan Creek and Franchise Pictures. Full Morph Midnight Video. Ugh. Oh well. This is a Turner Pictures film. Labels are still still has the cheesy shield Warner Home video logo, but this tape still has the boring shield Warner Home video logo at the beginning. March 26, 1997, I think it says. Print date is in the invisible orange like visible ink. Full one from unknown video store. This was sealed when I got it, but it was a full more rental. So this is resealed. November 10th, 2000. Full more from Real Big Video Distributors in Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. Demo tape. Just like Michael, it still has the Cheesy Shield Warner Home Video logo in the label, but it still has the Boring Shield Warner Home Video logo. September 14th, 1999. I think this is a full mark from Jumbo Video because it has this sticker. Even though it's demo tape. It's Copedus with Regency Enterprises. October 12th, 1998. This one's really rare. Four from Cash Converters. Purchased on November 17th, 2008. It's also a full mark from Molstron. This one is um, June 12th, 2014. 
blue lid black reels. January 24th, 2006, same print as Simmons Tubes copy. This is a TNT original movie. October 27th, 1999. It's got the Valley Village sticker on it, but I actually got this at Spin It. September 10th, 2000. This and the one I'll show later are my only three... Ugh, sorry, I can't talk. This, Risky Business, and Joel vs. the Volcano are my only three Warner Brothers Hits tapes I have. This must be a recycled tape because it has dark stickle label. I'm not sure what's recycled from at the moment. August 23rd, 1998, and if you look closely... It has the older print date. It says something 26, July 26, 1997. This is obviously recycle tape. In fact, I'll probably just have to peel it off to see what it is right now. Let me see what it's recycled from. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh well. Full more from New Release Express. Printing is ruined. This is a Geffen film, released from Warner Brothers. June 7th, 1999. Full more from Video Tom. This one was also brand new factory seal when I got it. May 5th, 2001. Another demo tape. I had to do this fast because my phone's gonna die. April 19th, 1999, and at the beginning of this tape, it actually has the cheesy show Warner Home video logo instead of the boring show Warner Home video logo. So this must be a original contents, the 1990 VHS. I also have this on DVD as well. September 15th, 2000, Full Warmth Midnight Video. Now here's the last tape for the collection. This was in the shrink wrap when I got it, but the bottom part chopped off. It was open from the bottom. Now this one has a problem, a little problem. June 18, 2000. This is a full one from Jumbo Video in Coburg, Ontario. And the reels are really movable and this tape is damaged this tape is also damaged 
at the at at the end of the Perfect Storm trailer and during the 97 Warner Home Video logo, the Boring Show logo. So, yeah. I'm still going to keep this tape, though. The rest of the tape worked fine. And that's it for my entire Warner Brothers VHS collection, 2020 edition. And stay tuned for my another next collection video, which will be my Universal VHS collection. So, stay tuned for that.